ensures all students will receive the nutritional benefits of lunch, making them better nourished and able to focus in school. As a parent, I understand the importance of having access to a healthy lunch every day. This initiative will make that a reality for all families across the city. This year, every student will have access to free lunch every day, regardless of where they go to school or how much their family is. Thank you. 
doing. So uh, I really am happy to join the Chancellor and be able to announce the creation of lunch fees for all students in the public school this year. So I want to thank the Chancellor for her support of Universal for Lunch for our city students. I also want to offer sincere thanks to the Lunch for Learning campaign.
all know that children who receive proper nutrition and regular meals do better in school. Um, and instead of worrying about being hungry or when they can get their next meal, they can focus on their learning and focus on that which is important. We all know that Universal Lunch Works. In 2014, Lunch for Learning and I adopted a Universal School Lunch Program in middle schools, and we saw the results. In the first year, schools that participated in the pilot program saw an 8% increase in the number of students who received free lunch. Nearly 10,000 more students per day. And I heard from students, I heard from students all throughout the city of New York. Children who teased, children who had to stand on separate lines, children who were referred to as home kids. Oh, Poor children, unfortunately, were stigmatized and made fun of and bullied. Some just decided not to have lunch at all. Not anymore. So I want to thank the mayor. I want to thank uh, the chancellor. I want to thank all of my colleagues and all of my friends in labor. No more hunger pains. No more strange noises coming from stomachs. No more stomachs grumbling. Now it's the sound of books opening and big pews. Now it's the sound of children.
had a professional assignment. My professional assignment was the cafeteria. And I would have to separate out those who could get lunch and those who couldn't, and all the stigmatisms and the horror that I saw. And I said, this does not represent what New York is about. It has nothing to do with this about. And every, you know, I had to hear about, well, this is a government program. And this. I said, these are children. They're in our schools. Why can't we just give them all lunch? It's just common sense. You wouldn't, in, could you imagine children coming into your house? Well, you can eat and you can. And we do believe our schools are homes. We treat them as such. And, and this, is a, this is a great day for New York City because now we're saying to everyone, we figured this out. It's done. Any child, everyone's treated the same. We have food, you get lunch, you get breakfast. That's the way it's supposed to see, be at all times. It truly is a statement about what we believe as New Yorkers. And, and, and I, we have to put this in another context at the same time. I have traveled half this summer all across this country, and I can tell you this. Many states, all you're seeing is less and less and less being done for schools. This funding that we do in New York State should be our, one of our proudest things. From our state elected officials, I can't thank you enough. Historic levels of funding for education. That's not easy every year. That's a big fight, but that is truly a belief system when those budgets are passed. And then when we get to our wonderful city council saying, we have money, the state did this, we want to prioritize our children. So I can't thank all of the city and state electeds, and we are here today to celebrate. Because tomorrow, there's nobody at the school cafeteria saying, yes, you can, and no, you can't. Everybody and every child.
I grew up on the Upper East Side, and I went to Bronx High School slash like many of my neighbors. But unlike many of my neighbors, I grew up with a uh, single parent, a single parent, and we, I, I was the kid on the Upper East Side who was getting the uh, reduced school lunch. Uh, and I had to choose between friends and food. I told my friends I wasn't hungry because the truth is I was starving. And through the Universal School Lunch Program, I hope no child ever makes the same poor choices that I made when I was a kid. I want to thank Chancellor Perino for a conversation that we've had for three and a half years where we both came from good places and we've made huge strides. And uh, now I'm going to have to come up with a few questions for the next uh, budget here. <laughs> I want to thank the uh, Lunch for Learning Coalition, Lex Eccles, and Community Food Advocates, Tish James, our Public Advocate Education Chair, Drone, who have been fighting since day one, and our speaker, Melissa Mark Vigorito, who set this as her agenda in the state of the city. When our brothers and sisters in labor, UFT, Michael Mulgrew, DC37, Henry Dorito, and local 370, Sean D. Francois, put our children first as always, I knew this was the year that we were going to win. And so I just want to thank our mayor for making good on his campaign promise and Barbara Turk, Turk for leading his uh, food policy and uh, to the children, to the public school children of New York City, lunch is free.
la gente que paga, para la gente que no paga. Y eso para mí, tarde mañana a la escuela, es un momento. Y hay mucha gente que tenemos que dar las gracias, la mayoría, los políticos que han estado por esto muchísimo tiempo, los señores, los sindicatos, la gente que trabajó muchísimos años. Esto está trabajando casi en 1978. Y hoy es el día que está pasando. Thank you. 